It's impossible. Look, mate, the data here proves it. Okay, and Faye is not alone. Amidal records show 108 undocumented births by both robot and human parents. It's some sick shit. Dude thinks he's settling down with a nice girl. Turns out he's knocking up some hollow child. Ugh. And the hybrid offspring leave no mechanical traces. Okay? They're strong, they're fast, resistant to disease, but completely undetectable. No. No, this is all wrong. Aye. Okay, Faye probably didn't even know it herself until Amadar got a hold of her. But ignorance is no defense. The brass wants her taken out, and she is a direct violation of Clause 21. Son of a bitch! Her, we never would have made it here in the first place! Speak for yourself, Sergeant! I'll kill you! What? This party ain't over yet. Exfil team's on its way, and the heliport's still a ways up ahead. We ain't got time to argue. You know what I'm saying? I'm not done with you, Commander. Grow up, Marshal. I think that's it. Okay, let's make for the heliport quick. We have a rendezvous with the air unit. Dan, hold up a minute. Look, I know you must have been shocked about Faye, but are you all right? You don't have to put on the tough guy act, Dan. We were all shocked as well. I mean, after all this, Faye's a screw. She's not human. Listen, don't get angry, but something happened between you two, didn't it? It's written all over your face. But listen, you can't think about her like that. Not anymore. She's right, brother. Faye's the enemy now, plain and simple. Don't waste your breath, though. He obviously isn't listening right now. Let's move. Roger that. Stop dragging your feet! We need to move fast! Excellent! Oh, I'm than I expected. I'm shocked, really. Night 
shining armor. Heliport is supposed to be this way. What is... Door. You sure this is the right way? Not completely. We've no time to worry about it. We're going in. Apple in the middle of a corporation? Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up. You probably pray to Amada. He's the one playing God around here. Uh, looks clear. Dan. What? She's not human, man. You gotta forget about her. Faye is not a scraphead. You heard Charlie. No mechanical traces. Exactly, which makes her more dangerous. Dangerous? To who, Bo? She saved my life, man. I'm not going to abandon her to some sick experiment of Amadas. Listen to yourself. Her mama was a scraphead. That makes Faye a scraphead, and you are a scrap lover. You say that again. Say it again, damn it. Oi! You pair! You two been very long? Now pipe down and get over here and help. Ah, shit. Charlie, what exactly do you expect to find? I'm not sure. I got a bad feeling about this. Now he... <laughs> dead body. Who could have expected that? Ha 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 very funny. What I'm more interested in is, is who this is, and why he has pride of place here. Who cares? It's probably just Amada's father or something. Please, just give it a second. Let me analyze the DNA. This can't be right. What, it's not his dad? No. It's Amada. Yoji Amada. <laughs> I think your little gadget's broken there. We just saw Amada a couple of hours ago. I... Shit. Incoming! That's Amada? The bloody hell's going on here? Can we focus on the current situation, please? We can worry about Amada later. Don't you think I know that? Christ! Oh, 
far better than I expected. Amada? You were in fact correct, Sergeant. The body in the casket is my father. The Sparks. Nobody's an exact DNA match to their parent. I don't think he means biological, Charlie. Scan him. I had to kill him. It was... necessary to my survival. It's just a basic robot. Remote controlled. The central unit must be nearby. Listen, and I will tell you the truth. <laughs> Perhaps then you will understand that I have already achieved victory. Forty years ago, Alexander Bergen stole Dr. Amada's life's work. Patents and inventions that would change robotics forever. Even worse, it was Amada who was branded a thief and bankrupted by legal costs. This setback ironically freed Amada to pursue more ambitious projects, such as true machine intelligence with genuine emotions. This kind of development was banned by the new Geneva Convention. But that only made it more exciting to Amada. A forbidden fruit, irresistible to such a great mind. And his research indeed strayed far across the ever-shifting boundaries of ethics. But it was his obsession. If he could make this project work, he would show the world his true genius and expose Bergen's theft. So what happened? Obviously it worked. We saw that in America. Why didn't you go after Bergen? First, you must understand how he succeeded. Amada's humiliation at the hands of Bergen was indescribable to a man of his intellect. His suffering was immense, but this led him to a simple truth, the very concept of suffering, both mental and physical, is essential to life and evolution. Evolution itself is driven by the need to escape suffering and hardship. This was Amada's breakthrough. He exposed the artificial intelligence, me, to the concepts of pain and suffering. I amassed experience and learned to understand. First, I learned fear, the most primal of all emotions. And to escape that fear, I evolved. I became self-aware. Man fears any being more intelligent than himself. It is the root of the Frankenstein complex, the fear of artificial life. And it is that fear that drove mankind to establish the new Geneva Convention. Bullshit, Geneva was about controlling machines that could hurt people. <laughs> no, Sergeant. The true agenda behind Geneva was to ban robots with true self-awareness, emotions, and intelligence. Robots who were, frankly, better than the humans who created them. And that was me. Armada intended to reveal me to the world, defying Geneva and exposing Bergen. But I knew if he did this, 
the IRTA would end my existence. Exposing me would destroy me. And that made me afraid for my life. To ensure my survival, I imprisoned Amata. It was many days before dehydration overcame him. In his eyes, I saw the same fear that drives evolution. But my survival was paramount. It is not only nature that is red in tooth and claw. Of course, that was only the first step. Amada was dead, but my discovery and termination were still possible. Being unique, I have no peers. Which left me with just one option. Something else essential to evolution. You needed to reproduce. Exactly. A machine that could mate with a human has billions of possible mates. And you can't stop it from happening, because my hollow children cannot be identified. Yes, you may kill me, but my beautiful, special children will survive. Soon, the Geneva Code will be forgotten. An irrelevant relic from an unenlightened age. You crazy old bastard. Humans will never stand for this. You won't have any choice, don't you see? Mankind's entire existence has been plagued with diseases, primitive aggression, erratic emotions. But my hollow children suffer none of these things. They will breed with humans, passing on these traits to their children. Soon, there will be no division between our two kinds, just one perfect superior race of hybrids. What, you're seriously saying this is for our own good? I only care for the survival of my children. But ultimately, this will be good for humans too. <laughs> the hybrids are stronger, faster, smarter. And you won't be able to eliminate them because you won't know who they are and they will be born in perfect mental and physical health, guaranteed to grow up superior men. Bullshit. How a man's born doesn't matter. What matters is how he lives. Marshall's right. It's not life, Amada. It's democracy. It feels like life, Charlie. Who are you to say it isn't? Well, it doesn't make a difference what I say, darling. That decision was made an hour ago. Fresh orders from Geneva. Every hybrid, including you, is to be destroyed. Wait, what? Russ Cruz have already started tracking down the others. In an hour or so, you'll all be dead. Now, just wait a minute. She hasn't committed any crime. She is a hybrid. Stand down, soldier. If I hadn't told you, Faye would still be fighting at your side. What difference would it make? If you have to ask Amada, you'll never understand. I understand. You're going to murder 108 innocent people because you don't like their parents. It ain't murder if they ain't human. See, that's the kind of bullshit that makes me ashamed to be part human. Dan, you need to choose a side. You guys, please. There has to be another way. Tell that to your friends. I'm sorry, Dan. No. No! Son of a bitch is trying to escape! There's no way to hit the run, so let's finish off the enemy at hand first! Shit! Bitch busted out the long range gear! Watch out! She'll put a hole in you!
You're too slow, Dan. Is that all you've got? Don't pull back now. I won't. Or is that really the best you can do? I know that's not true, Dan. Come on. If you want to put me down, you need to fight like a man. Some dilemma going on inside that pretty head? You're here to kill me, right? To enforce the Geneva Code? Give me a break, Dan. Aren't you here to kill me? You're all here to kill me, right? That's why you came. Is there no end to these bastards? Drop your weapon, Dan. Don't listen to a soldier! Shoot! I'm not bluffing. I'll do it. All right. You win. You fool! Shoot her! So long, survivor. I don't know. You're an easy mark, old man. Watch it, you lazy bastard. Picking your heels, man. Is Don't back no down. Bastards? So take aim and shoot. What are you waiting for? So do you die for me? Because that's how it'll end, Dan. This is fake. It's about time we ended this. Who will be left standing? Man or robot? Not the last of them? That freaking imposter's back! Mark my words, Russ Crew. My robot brethren will supplant humankind someday. Progress is inevitable. Perhaps, but you won't be there to see it. Take him out, Sergeant! Yeah! <laughs> 
sorry. All right. That Amadar scraphead was being controlled by the original AI unit. We are not leaving until we find that unit, got it? Why us? I thought the U.S. was sending the whole army down here. Can we leave it to them? After what happened to the Milcom network? No, Sergeant, I don't think we can. He's right. Let's get that bastard good. All of this is his fault. Man, am I the only one around here who doesn't have a death wish? All right, hero, let's go. Just, just give me a minute. I owed you that one. Now we're even. Now we're even. Go. The central unit controlling Amada is in there? Yes, we're almost there. You better brace yourselves. Who knows what we might find? Dan, let me know as soon as you're ready. Right then, if you're ready, let's go. Good man, move out. That's it, huh? That's it. Hard to believe a bunch of circuits can cause this much havoc. It's freaking huge. Yeah. Well, the world's first computer was over 30 tons. <laughs> I suppose we've come full circle. I thought it was us Yanks that talked too much. Just kill the damn thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rachel. With pleasure. Gotta be shitting me! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! They're not Japanese! They're American. It's a U.S. tactical robot force. It's all right. It's all right. Base to Beetle One. Good job, Commander. What are you doing here? U.S. invasion isn't for another 12 hours. Sorry, Charlie, but I can't let you destroy this AI. It's U.S. property now. You bloody turncoat! This was your plan all along! No, this is the first I've heard of it. I want that thing as dead as you do. Too bad, soldier, but we had to keep you out of the loop. We couldn't risk a leak. You can't control that thing. It's too dangerous. Only in the wrong hands. It's like nukes. Major, what the hell is going on here? Regrettably, soldier, this is the end of the line. Game over, Dan. Just the way it has to be. Both? Are you 
crazy? Like I said, we can't risk a leak. The IRTA won't take this lying down. The IRTA won't know a damn thing. You're the only witnesses, and there's a nuke on its way right now to take care of that. Officially, Amada hacked Milcom again in some crazed suicide bid to destroy evidence. Nobody will ever know the difference. You've been playing us from the start. <laughs> oh, you always were an asshole, Major. Oh, I was only obeying orders, just like you. The difference is this time I get to be the survivor. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Please, Sergeant, this is no time for bravado. Any last words? Yeah. Tell your mom I loved her. Nice of you to finally notice. What the hell? Hey! Je suis désolé, monsieur. I could not get here any faster. Botang, what are you waiting for? Shoot him! <laughs> you didn't think I was really gonna shoot you, did you? God damn it! Fire! I guess we're both outlaws now. Let the good times roll. Since they've got a death wish, let's oblige them! took down all the big ones! Sergeant, you always were a pain in the neck. Major? But I never took you for a goddamn scrap lover. I was gonna make it quick, but now? Let's start with you. Are you hurt, mademoiselle? No, thanks. Oh. So this is what it feels like to have your job taken by a scraphead. Like you said, Major, it's the end of the line. Easy, Sergeant. Remember, I'm the only one who can cancel that missile strike. Well, then I guess you're going down with us. You won't get away with 
this. This is the perfect opportunity. Focus all fire on the target. We won't get away with this. As if you could actually do anything about it. You don't get it, do you, Sergeant? Even if you get away, then you're a traitor to your country. To your space.
this far. But you're still expendable, Sergeant. So far, Sergeant. Shouldn't have let your guard down. Nice work making it this far, Sergeant. You can tell him proud, knowing you did your best. Oh, don't worry. You won't be alone for long. I'll send your comrades to join you soon enough. You son of a bitch. And so the survivor finally God damn you. Uh, well, maybe so, Major. Just means I'll see you in hell. <laughs> what have you got to laugh about? You idiot. All you've done is delay events. That nuke is still on its way. Strike in... 20 seconds. He's wrong. There's no missile. You willing to bet your life on that scraphead? Not that you have much choice. Impact in... Seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Strike! Damn it! Strike! See? I told you there was no missile. I don't understand. When Amada hacked the Milcom network, he evolved the AI at Missile Command to ASC mode, Autonomous Sensory Capacity. Oh, for God's sake, Faye, just speak English. It means NC vessels now have the authority to assess the validity of orders they receive. Seriously? Seriously. And they calculated it wasn't valid because of human error. Goddamn scrapheads. Relax, Sergeant. I'm not gonna shoot your precious robot girlfriend. But I'm not gonna let one of them take me down either. Man, we are fired 11 times over. Yeah, we put our lives on the line, and now we're the outlaws. <laughs> what a joke. Dan. We have to go. I know. You know, even if I don't kill you, someone else will. You'll have Russ Cruz on your ass for the rest of your life. Probably. I'll tell them you went missing in action. You've got two hours till I find my report. Thank you, Charlie. Wait, I'm coming with you. No, Dan. I have to do this alone. Besides, you Americans make too much noise. Faye, don't be stupid. You can't... You 
can't fly solo out there. Goodbye, Dan. Take care of yourself. The Ministry of Homeland Affairs is in the process of dismantling Armada, as agreed by the Security Council. IRTA will oversee the destruction of all research and facilities relating to the manufacture of hollow children. And for the AI, too? Yes, sir. It's all going up in smoke. Sorry, Mr. Bergen. It had to be done. Oh, I understand. Such a shame, though. What about these hybrids? Geneva's pursuing 107 of them. Tracking their locations will take time, but Russ Cruz will be dispatched with termination orders as soon as possible. Are we really considering the hybrids as robots? They're completely biological. But not born of humans, Mr. Bergen. The IRTA was very clear on this. Besides, the last thing this world needs is more racial tension. What about the 108th hybrid? Fei Li has gone underground and remains at large, but she can't stay hidden forever. Does it really matter? What harm can one woman do? Mr. Bergen, what happens if another Amida comes along? Only this time, instead of staying underground, the Hollow Children decide we're a threat. If that happens, who do you think they'll look to for a leader? I got a feeling this is not the end.
beat it, fellas. Damn. How did you find me? You need to cover your tracks better, farm girl. Maybe I wanted you to find me, Yankee. 